Only on Fox. Chances are, at one point or another, you've left a bottle of water in your car, thinking you're going to finish it off later. It gets hot inside your car. You may have even received an email claiming that drinking bottled water can cause cancer after that heat. Is it truth or is it fiction? Laura Sample has the answer. We all do it. Drink part of a bottle of water, then let it sit in the car, in the sun. Maybe you leave it in your car while you go to the store or run a quick errand. Walk through any parking lot and chances are you'll find bottled water in most cars. There's one in this car and in this car. You probably don't think much about it, or maybe you didn't until this email started going around. It says bottled water left in the car can lead to breast cancer. Not having what you want. It also says that's how Cheryl Crow got breast cancer. Still, most people don't believe it. Dr. Mary M. Marchese is a naturopathic physician in Scottsdale who focuses on women's health and environmental medicine. She says chemicals from plastic bottles are linked to breast cancer and other hormonal conditions such as uterine fibroids, endometriosis, and early puberty in young girls. In men, decreased sperm counts and prostate cancer. And get this. Water bottles aren't the only concern. Liquid that's in the plastic bottle doesn't really matter. It could be a plastic water bottle, a plastic soda bottle, a plastic juice bottle. Marchese says plastics contain the toxic chemicals phthalates and bisphenol A, known as BPA. BPA raises concern because it acts like estrogen and interferes with hormone levels. People with reproductive health concerns usually have elevated BPA and phthalate levels. BPA and phthalates are leached from plastic and not just plastic bottles left in the sun. Heating causes more leaching from the plastic bottle, but just sitting on the shelf in the store at normal room temperature can cause leaching of these chemicals. So far, the FDA isn't fully on board. They say some leaching occurs, but not enough to cause concern. However, Marchese has a stack of research that says differently. If every single day we're having a little bit of this chemical, a little bit of that chemical, over time we build up a lot of chemicals in our body, and that's when we start to see hormonal problems. Gina Montion has already made some changes. And so I've actually started not drinking water that I've left in my car all day. She'd rather know she's safe than risk getting sick. I'm just not even chancing it. Laura Samble, Fox 10 News.